One of the coolest tools in hard ops is dice. Dice is fantastic when you want to retopologize something or you need some quick quad based topology or loops on your mesh. Check this out. So the very basic way of using this tool is by going to Q menu in object mode, going to mesh tools, dice, and then pressing H to unroll this menu. And by default, if you hover over your cube and you move your mouse, you can see that it's switching between these axes. It's a bit fiddly, but you can do it with keys as well. So press X, Z, Y to turn them on and off, or you can press B to box slice it from all sides and scroll your mouse up and down to change the number of loops you want to project. Let's say we wanted to project from all angles, just click and there you go, right? You got the Rubika cube. Now, this is just a very basic behavior. Let me show you what this tool can do. So let's just grab a cube and, you know, inset it. And we're going to run a chamfer here and we're going to inset it and run something like this, right? Cool. And let's do the same thing. So go to Q menu and mesh tools and dice and we're going to press B and let's just, you know, box slice it, right? Boom. Okay, cool. So we got now loops all over the place, but the problem is that we have some of them angled like this and it's not really going to fly, right? So what I can do now is I can go to my control tilde menu, go to sharpening. I can turn off everything except seam. I can then run control click on sharpen, which is going to add seams to all the hard edges. This, by the way, it's a tip for you. The best way to unwrap hard surface model is to apply seam to everything and then remove where you don't need it. Very simple, right? It's one of the many things we show in our course, the Game Asset 2.0 for hard surface in Blender. But check this out. I'm going to press L hovering over this face to select it, press F to clean it, align myself from the side here in orthographic view. So go to Q menu, dice, and then press V to enter dice 2D and you can rotate it. So press R and rotate it, hold control to snap it to, you know, increments. And now you can, you know, dial in whatever grid you want and click, and then you can connect them, you know, here, and you're going to have a grid at proper angle. So this is the quickest way to quadrify your mesh if you really need it. Now a cool thing you can do with this tool, which is a really cool and neat kind of a toy. You can go to Q menu, go to uh, mesh tools, go to dice, then go to X and turn off the Z scroll. Maybe I wish your mouse, maybe not, I don't know, eight segments is enough. And then we're going to press T to enter the twist 360. If you click your mouse left button, right? You will switch the tool to 360 twist in hard ops. Now you can, you know, you can change the, um, the displacement. You can change the rotation. I mean, the, the angle, you can change the, um, the degrees um, and you can also rotate it. So this is really cool, especially that, um, you know, now, now the mesh is diced, which means you can twist it around and you can do it with any mesh. So you can dice any shape and just twist it instantly, right? And this also going to work with, you know, with bevels. Let's just remove these two faces because they're going to cause problems. I'll show you if I run the bevel, you see, we're going to get this issue in the middle. So we need to nuke these two faces, right? And it's going to be peachy and then you can just, you know, keep editing this. So for example, you can do, you know, something like this, right? And boom. Another thing you can do if you have a bevel on this, uh, on this mesh, right? So we have a bevel here let's just make it more supple. We're going to go to Q bevel, right? And shift P and scroll to change profiles. So now if you don't know about profiles in hard ops, I have a video on that. I posted recently, go ahead and watch it. It's fantastic. You can create custom profiles and, you know, they're a lot of fun, right? Cool. So that's, uh, you know, that's the very basic of this tool. And like I said, it's phenomenal for, you know, subdividing your mesh very quickly. Another way I, I would use it, for instance, would be where, uh, let's say I have a plane, right? And it's quite long. We're going to apply scale. We're going to, you know, go here and so let's just actually rotate it. So R and x90 and we're going to align ourselves here apply rotation then select the face q and then go to dice and then press v and we're going to quadrify it like this you can see you can fit perfectly the quads within this face it's going to adjust which is fantastic right
obviously you got other options in here if you want to play with that just uh, you know click and there you go and then what we can do is go to hard ops menu and then we can deform it right so hold control and then you can deform it using the smart hard ops modifiers how cool is that right and obviously you can change it to you know twist you can make some propeller blades for, for you know for your ships like sci-fi ships or like you know helicopter or some planes or whatever uh, drones etc you can taper it you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this tool which is fantastic and also drive it on the curve right because if we're now at the curve on top of this so let's grab a bezier curve and we're gonna make it larger and we're gonna rotate it on on y axis by um by it's actually too big by 90 like this and we're gonna select this one shift select this one and then we're gonna click on curve well let me just uh, um, apply the rotation here too there we go and i'm gonna select this select that and curve you're gonna be able to align it on the curve so there you go uh, and you can then you know subdivide it right and you got some really cool shape so you can do all kinds of stuff with hard ups using all these tools and you know like i said they all play together and it's really useful to know what's going on under the hood and in order to learn all these tools really efficiently the best way to do it is to grab our course which is called the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 which is going to teach you everything all the tools all the menus the whole workflow and trust me there is a lot of shit in these add-ons okay that course is 22 hours long don't get scared you should be excited because i'm covering everything right so you can pick up whatever you want make some notes and create your own personalized workflow and finally be able to understand these two add-ons and actually use them to their full potential because they are bloody incredible okay so grab the course and enjoy the link is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one